Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about the API. So what is API in a simple language and how we can use the API and what are the benefits in the API. So API full form is the application programming interface. So in this API, what we are uh, getting benefits, let's talk an example that you are building a application. This is your application and suppose you need some user details from a uh, different um, uh, website how we can use that so for that you don't you can send a request to that application the third party application and third party application process your request and based on that they can send the data and their data you can utilize in your application so let's take an example so if you need to build a weather application whether you can know that what is the current um, temperature in um, any of this app, uh, any of this location called London or um, maybe India. To know that you don't need to build the complete application from the scratch. You don't need to build the uh, physical um, um, details there. There is a already uh, there are open sources API available. You can just consume that in a particular manner, and then you can get the data. The London's um, what is the current uh, weather in the London? What is the current weather in the India? And you can process the data and you can show in your application for that you don't need to build each and every application from the scratch so let's take another example here so in this application i am building a website in this website i am giving the opportunity the user can use the signing with the facebook signing with the twitter or google for that what they uh, what they are what I am going to use that I am basically using the Facebook API, Twitter API and Google API. So what happening? I don't need to build the complete login page for the user. Once once you click the sign in with Facebook, it will open a Facebook page. So you don't need to it, you don't need to build the complete API from the beginning. What you have to do, you have to just use their function. The simple two line code. Maybe you need to write the two line code. And then in this two line code, you will be able to uh, achieve that Facebook login functionality and a, actually we will be able to get complete data in your uh, application. So you don't need to write everything from the scratch. The Facebook already built or everything or Twitter that, that API is already built everything for you. You just need to use that functions in a particular manner to get that data. So that helps you to build your application in very quickly. You don't need to build uh, the user. You don't need to manage the user information, first of all. Secondly, you don't need to store all the user data in your, in your instance. And the Facebook definitely use the standard um, um, security that security you don't need to provide. So in that case, there are many benefits in the API. Another example is that, for example, let's take a example. You are building a uh, apps there where you are going to track that, uh, like a uh, e-commerce site where you are tracking that your uh, where your actually parcel is there. So for that, you, you can use the Google Maps API. So there are common example we talk about that weather API, we talk about the login API, and we talk about that map API. Now see what are the details is using in the api so api we talk about it is used for the communication so you it is a real-time data communication you are sending some data to the uh, one point to the another point you are sending some data to the one point to the another point so you are sending some data from one point to the another point and then um it is um the another point is sending you some response and you are processing that so it is a real-time uh, data transaction abstraction what is does mean the abstract it means that i don't need to understand that what facebook is actually built their site to uh, login i just need to write two core line of code to send the data and to process the data i don't need to completely build the complete process whatever they have built they might be processed multiple times with that user they're checking multiple things i don't need to do that i just need to be sent some particular data and i should uh, get some uh, you know um, uh, particular response okay so I don't need to completely structureize that so also whenever you are sending the API it have some standard like so pressed by using that we are actually communicating so how API works 
for sending the API or for sending the data from using the API, very first thing is that you need the endpoint. In endpoint means that where I am going to getting the data. For example, I am trying to get the data from Facebook. So that is Facebook is my endpoint. If I'm trying to get some data from the Google, so Google is my endpoint. So endpoint is nothing but where we are going to try to hit and where we are trying to get our data. So operation, operation is there are many operation put, post, delete. These are the operation. And apart from that, there are others operation also. It means that what we are trying to do, if you are trying to create a record, then it should be a post method. So it means that whenever you are trying to create a post into Facebook, that is called the post method. Whenever you are trying to update your post, that is called put method. Whenever you are trying to delete something in your Facebook, that is called delete method. Also, we have a get method where we can get some data from the Facebook. Secondly, the parameters. Definitely, what is the parameter? Parameter means that you are passing some image name or something called some uh, parameter during that we call the parameter. And what else we have? There is a, another thing is the response. So whenever we are trying to hit their server, we should definitely, whenever we are sending some data, we are expecting that some data we should receive. So that is we call the response. And response can be in a JSON format, in a text format, and then after that, we have to process, and then we have to show the data in our website. Uh, we have a call API key or authentication. So what is the API key or authentication? API key or authentication, it means that whenever you are sending some data from system A to system B, so in that case, we are using some identifier that uh, I am using system A is using system B. For that, we are using a API key and that API key is nothing but so whenever we are sending some data from system A to system B, we are using the API key. This API key is nothing but we can, uh, you know, a unique key for this application A. So A is using this, this system B, C is using their system uh, B maybe. Uh, so two system is using this system B. They have different different API so that system B know that A is calling me or using the different API key system B know that C is calling and that there they can tracking that who is calling and how much time they can call. So maybe they have put the restriction call system A can call 20 time in a day and system B call call 100 time a day that restriction they can put by this API key. So API key is nothing but it's a authentication and the, using this authentication there are many benefits called using the API key you can start tracking the monitor you can start monitoring their uh, transaction. So whenever they are sending some data you can say that your limit is end today uh, you already called 10 times so you can monitor that. API key give you extra put kind of layer there nobody third party application who don't know the API key, they should not come and start getting the data from B. So API key is kind of security. So using the API key, you can maintain the trespassings and you can maintain the limits and you can monitoring that what data is coming and what data you are sending. In case any failure happens using the API key also, you should know that which application called you and why this data is failure. So that's all about the simple how the API works. If you have any question, please let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.